I'm Jessica Patterson of Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts and today I'm going to spin those beautiful bats that I made on my drum carter the other day. The Blue Mystique bats. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. I also had someone ask how to dress a paddle distant. So this is going to be a two for one video. Spinning and dressing a distant. So let's get to it. Yay! Anyway. So this is the paddle to dip in question. My new one from Serbia with uh, this beautiful painting on it and such. And um, this is probably meant as a souvenir, but I'm going to use it as a functional distip. So anyway, and here are the beautiful bats. Yay, aren't they so pretty? And we've got definitely got a theme going on here with blue. And that's absolutely why I'm wearing green. <laughs> So I'm going to unfold it <clears throat> and see here. Just take a moment to judge how big my distip is and how big my bat is. So I think I want to break this bat into thirds here. So maybe. There we go. Perfect. And another. It's so hard. All right, ta-da. So I'm just gonna lay these all on top of the distaff and uh, sort of trying to judge where I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna take my beautiful blue ribbon here and sort of come around behind it and crisscross over top. I'm gonna go down first and then back up and just not trying to do it too tightly but let's see i just sort of want to contain the fiber here there we go as you can see it is very very professionally tied and and just totally not a mess that anyway it doesn't have to be done perfectly. It's just holding the fiber, basically. Um, nor do you have to tie it too tightly. Um, this is still fairly loose, especially on the bottom. It's just to hold it on there. And you can see on the back, it's not really attached. It's just wrapped around. So, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> I'm just going to loop one of these pieces of ribbon through so that the whole thing doesn't just like slide off while I'm spinning. Yeah, there we go. That works. See those little teeth on top? That's so handy. And now it won't go anywhere. <laughs> My distaff that I made is sort of more in a violin or hourglass shape so the ribbon doesn't want to slide too easily. This one is just like a straight, you know, board. So I could tell it really just wants to go with slide not towards my hand. So that would have sucked. But anyway, as you can see, all the fiber is contained on the front side of the paddle. Um, unlike a, um, a, what do you call it, medieval distaff, which is more round, usually you'd have the fiber, you know, tucked around it in more of like a broom shape. Um, unlike that, the paddle distaff is all just on one side. And you also, with a cage distaff, dress it all, all around, but I'll show that in a later video. So anyway, we've got fiber, and uh, it's quite a nice poofy mess here. So I'm gonna tuck the distaff in my hand here, um, just as so. I'm gonna pick up my Galen Design spindle, and I'm gonna start spinning. So let me step off to the side where I can hopefully not hit the table. So I'm gonna draft a little bit. I'm just pinching with my first finger and my thumb and I'm drafting with this hand. So I'm gonna take this and fold it around the hook here. That's how I usually start my spinning. And I'm gonna rotate it clockwise. Usually for singles, it's clockwise for spin and counterclockwise for ply, unless you're doing something real special with the ply or um, plying means you're combining two strands together for basic or you're uh, spinning for crochet. 
um, I believe you spin the opposite direction for crochet. So what I'm doing to start off is I'm just spinning it in my hand. I'm not actually letting it drop right now because I have a habit of actually dropping it to the floor when I do that. And I'm just taking my fingers, I'm untwisting it a little bit and then letting the twist run up. And uh, that just creates basically a leader yarn. Um, usually you'll have like a, a yarn already spun on the spindle and that'll you know create your leader but I just like just doing it with fiber so I'm just gonna take it around here wrap it around the shaft and hook it on and now we're ready to go so so now let's see drop and then draft And as you can see, if you come up and look at the distiff, um, this just lets me draft out very fine without having to worry about what the fibers are doing or felting the fibers with my hand. Since the bat is pretty airy, um, this just, using a distiff is really a great way just to keep from compressing those fibers. Um, and I can end up with a very fine yarn very quickly because I'm not fussing with fiber I'm just focusing on drafting so yep and the Galen design spindle it wants to spin really really fast um, maybe not for the longest amount of time which is somewhat similar to a medieval spindle um, except med medieval is usually a uh, bottom whorl. Um, there are some top whorls out there, but um, this, I just, I love it for doing this kind of thread because um, it's, it's fast and it's just the right weight. So, there we go. Yep. Let's see here. And it's fairly consistent. Anyway, so that is spinning of this bat. I'm really happy with how these turned out and I'm excited to see how the thread is gonna turn out with these. It's just beautiful. You can see already a idea of what the thread looks like. Isn't that beautiful? And it's just, you know, super thin. That's my favorite. Not perfectly, um, you know, like gossamer thin, but that's okay. I, I don't need to be spinning gossamer all the time. So, yeah, I'm so happy with this. And it's gonna have sparkle and plenty of shine with that bamboo. A little bit of floof with the uh, glitter uh, yarn that we put in. Uh, the yarn that the um, sparkle was combined with was um, a little bit poofy, so that allowed in some cute poofy um, areas that are a little more sort of uh, gray. Anyway, so what do you think of spinning with a paddle distant? Um, is this something you'd like to try in new year, new year and learning? Uh, I definitely do recommend it. If you're trying to spin fine yarns with a spindle, it really just helps that you don't have to worry about um, your what your fibers are doing because they're all just like right there. And um, yeah, and it also helps that you aren't compacting, you know, if you're grabbing your fibers with your hand, you aren't, um, if you're using a distiff, you aren't like compacting those fibers as you spin. Um, so, yeah, it is really just handy. Um, I don't know of anybody that really makes paddle distiffs yet, but we shall see in the future. Uh, so let me know what you think. Um, also, what do you think of the thread we're making with the blue mystique bats? Um, and the Galen Design Spindle. This is my favorite drop spindle. 
um, one of my favorites besides the medievals and oh who am I kidding they're all my favorite but anyway this is my favorite for this yep and uh, <laughs> on that note hit like hit subscribe leave a comment and um, have a great day I'm gonna go retrieve my spindle and make sure I didn't damage it this time <laughs>